Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Slope Podcast. We are finally 21 years old, dude. Everybody! Um, but, uh, y'all can't even hear it, but it's fine. <laughs> Um, yeah, dude, on our 21st episode, uh, this is your regular weekly Kiaki Zaka 46 and Nogi Zaka 46 and Yoshimoto 46, apparently, podcast. We, we haven't covered them yet, but there's nothing to cover. So. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah, we'll get around to it. So, yeah, welcome to the Sakamichi series podcast. Uh, how was Infinity War, my guys? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I usually don't watch movies, like, again. first week. But this one I, I had to end. It was worth it. Or if you're if you haven't seen it, if you're listening, and you haven't seen it, please forgive us. T- tune out right now. <laughs> forgive uh, us. Let's give him five Spoilers minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll give him five minutes. Okay. Okay. Five we'll, minutes, okay. We'll, we'll go five, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. I got a new product because I bought the pouches. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. The khaki pouches. Mm. Oh, you did. And oh, I, just, I, and I just got them yesterday. Uh-huh. And so I will do a quick. Oh. Hands-on review. Okay. Let, me, let me see it, dude. Here this ASMR. Mm, I'm gonna open this. And so it's it's a black pouch. It is about the size of uh, I don't know two phones. <laughs> two <laughs> what phones. kind of measuring? <laughs> right, you can you can put in your phone and like a battery. I'll probably use it for my to makeup brush. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. everyone Total buys trees, it for yeah. the for the zipper pull here. It was mm-hmm. like the, uh, you know, dark red burgundy mm. one that says Kayaki Zaga. And then there's a black one also. Just like their jackets in the video, it's mm-hmm. all reversible. It's the same mm-hmm. color. Ooh. On the outside, there is a uh, button pocket. Inside is red, just like the jackets mm. and the thingy. And then... Uh, oh, is it red, is it red inside? Well, we'll find out right now. <laughs> What's the up? zipper's kind of... Hard to pull. What's it's not a YKK zipper. Oh. Mm. Mm. All right, we'll get we'll <laughs> minus a half it, point for that one. Feels pretty sturdy though. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll see after. What's uh? Long use. What's the internal material? Uh, I believe it's all polyester. Oh. The outside might be nylon though. Well, I mean, if you're planning on putting it like toiletries and stuff in there, that's probably for the best, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah you don't want. Um. You don't want like, cashmere uh, or something. A good number of pockets. Well, there's a big pocket, Mm-mm. and then there's the the two segmented pockets, mm. and then you know the big the big compartment. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh yeah, it says uh, Kiyakizaka right here in the grass of water font. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's embroidered though, which is nice. Ooh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, not like yeah. printed on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it won't come off unless you take a red ripper. But why would you want to? Mm-hmm. You gotta take those uh, CPUs, right? Get a CPU yeah. and then uh, yeah, it's, and see it's the joke. Thread, it thread feels ripper. Pretty soft. Yeah, yeah. Get it thread ripper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very like a good practical uh, product, you know. Yeah. Merchandise. Yeah. yeah. There, there's there's many uses. But we all know we're taking we're gonna take that tag off and put on our <laughs> MA one. Put this in my own MA one. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> uh, there's a little uh, tab right here where you <coughs> put like a strap. Ooh. Hmm. Like the, like this little thing. Like, you can hook something onto. But that's pretty much it. Hmm. That's the comprehensive review of the Kayaki pouch. Is that all you got? Uh, that's all for me, but my buddy got a towel also. I'm not going to open it because it's not mine. <laughs> Just <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Whose towel did he get? Ooh! I don't know if you can read Ooh. that name, but. Nagasawa Kun. That's right. Well done. Nagasawa-kun. Well done. Yeah, mm-hmm. so um, if you're still around, we're going to talk about Infinity War now, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> yeah, uh, so how long should we take with this, just so people know? Uh, equal time of me reviewing okay, this. Okay, so we'll give it. Alright, so three minutes. Three so minutes. So at 7.04. Oh right, Let's I, go. I'm, I'm watching the elapsed time. We got it. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, three minutes, starting now. So what happened in the end? Erwan did died. You, well, okay, half the like, universe, right? Did you yeah. like the end? Um. So, like, obviously, this is part one, right? There's gonna be mm-hmm. the yes. the fourth Avengers movie that's gonna like, like, I, I feel like you know, if you look at like the greater arcs of like a, a story, 
this was that it ended on like the decline. You know, like every every action movie, it right. has that point where like all hope is lost. Oh mm-hmm. no! We're like, what are we gonna do? And then Gandalf mm-hmm. shows up, right? <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, or in this case, <laughs> Captain Marvel, right? Oh well, yeah. I, I, but, I uh, like how they ended it though, where it's just Thanos and he's looking out like, hell yeah! And then it just it's just like names. Yeah. Right? It's yeah, just yeah. black and then like mm-hmm. the names. It's like damn. <laughs> it's like that's the end. That's all. He fucking dumpstered the Avengers, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, dude. Six to zero. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and then, did you guys see the after credits one? Yeah, the post. Yeah, yeah. Where are they gonna take with the ca- Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel sign? The little, mm-hmm. They summon Captain Marvel. Where the has she beeper? been the whole like ten years of the? I don't know. MCU? In, in the Air Force or something. So I'm not in like I'm not a big Marvel fan, right? Like uh, when it comes to comics, I'm a pretty big comic nerd, but I've always been more DC. Hmm. So I my understanding of Captain Marvel is like really weird. Like I don't know much, anything about her. So so comic book lore, she was like, there was this guy called like Mar-Vel. Captain Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. And then she was like, oh, I likes him. And then there was mm-hmm. like a machine that grants wishes. And then like so they made her like she wanted to be like him, and mm-hmm. so it like changed her DNA. So yeah. she's half a. Uh, Cree, Cree, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the same thing. So, yeah, yeah. So I, I like she's gonna be strong as foot. Right? Yeah, she's like, like the strongest Marvel I character she's in the whole gonna be like MCU. The ringer. <laughs> yeah, but Everyone's that's kind of the impression up, they're giving. Even the director's like, Marvel. yeah, this is what's gonna happen. Mm, okay, because I mean, I, I, it's hard because you know, obviously within comics, it's like the power scaling always shifts depending on what the story calls for. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know if she's that powerful is she the director yeah, says she's the most will, powerful they will make her okay op but then okay thor is like oh yeah strong. well thor is a god Dude, yeah. he, he gravely wounded <laughs> yeah Thanos my boy with, Tor, and he dude. already had all six i'm glad he finally got like head. some dope action scenes right because like yeah thor yeah dude get him all right and then with that we are out of time we did damn it we didn't get through all the shit. <laughs> <laughs> took too much time talking about Captain Marvel. Okay, I'm sorry. okay, that's it. I'm that's sorry. It. No Strange more talking about it. No more talking. No more talking about it. All right, let's get to the topics now. Okay, oh, er- everyone's good. Everyone's good. Come back now. We're gonna talk about Isles. <sighs> We're ready to go. Okay, topics now. Nagahamaneru is gonna. Nagahamaneru. She is taking part in Omori Seiko's special collab unit that's happening at Viva La Pop. Festival Viva La Pop is an offshoot of the festival Viva La Rock, um, and it's going to happen May 6th in Saitama Super Arena. So Viva La Rock is going to be like May 4th to the 5th, or 3rd to the 5th, or something like that. And then so they're tacking on Viva La Pop at the end. Are they, t- are they celebrating Cinco de Mayo? Uh, perhaps. <laughs> but there are many idols idol groups and idols taking part in this festival thing there are two mm-hmm. stages uh, obviously Kiyakizaka will be there mm. oh j- not just her doing Fukio on? no it's not she's part of the, <laughs> the unit right like the special unit yeah so you know Omori Seiko is a huge idol nerd and so you know to put this thing together it's gonna close out like the day mm. it's like the headlining <clears throat> thing but I don't know how much this unit is gonna take part but anyway, the unit has Aina from Bish, mm. Up 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 Girls, Kikawa Yu, Ano from Yurumerumo, Kane Kurie from Lady Baby, and then Idol Gods, <laughs> Suzuki Airi <laughs> and Michishige Sayumi, <clears throat> along with Neru, our mm. very own Slope Girl. Mm. Mm. Making making waves coming up, dude. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm quite excited to see what's gonna happen. All these idols are quite different in mm-hmm. some way or another. Mm. Yeah, you got some like very kind of traditional idols, some very mm-hmm. Akiba idols, and you have Aina there for some reason, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Um, actually, let me, let me see the, the, the lineup. Is the, the Lady Baby Girl the original one? Yes. Not one of the new ones, right? No. Okay. Um, Kiaki, of course. You got Kobushi Factory, Negiko's from Niigata. That's where Shida mm-hmm. was when she went out on a date. Looking Bish. so healthy. Yeah. 
you know, Bish, we like Bish. Uh, Maze on Book Girl is quite good. And then the Last Idol family. Oh. All, all of them. They're all going to be there. So. Apparently, they're, they're on Spotify now. Oh, all right. Just like Kiaki Zaka. Mm-hmm. We're going to bring that back, you know? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, uh, pretty excited to see what's going to happen with this. You know what else is on Spotify? What? No, Gizaka. Oh. oh. And you know what else is on Spotify? What? 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 The Slow Podcast. Oh. <laughs> That's right. That's right, guys. We are on Spotify. Mm-hmm. Also, iTunes and Google Play Music. Uh-huh. And anywhere else, probably. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gotta, gotta get so, that plug, dude. Yeah. Let's keep going here. Uh, that's really the only Kiyakis I can use. I'm sorry. Kia Army, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna get attacked by Army, dude. Sakurai Reika is starring in a stage play called Hanshin. Um, it is a... She's double starring with actress Fujima, Fujima Sonoko. Mm-hmm. And it will take place in Tokyo from July 11th to the 16th, and then it's gonna move to Osaka from the 19th to the 22nd. Mm-hmm. So Hanshin is an adaptation of a one-shot manga from the 80s, mm-hmm. and says here in a quick description, it says, <clears throat> "Jimmy, please, can you?" <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we always do this? <laughs> right. Conjoined twins. Okay. I was about to read it for real. <laughs> Are as different as possible. I believe they changed the names for the play. Oh. Uh, older Yudi is intelligent but ugly, as her nutrients are used up by her beautiful, Dang, simple-minded dude. sister Yusi. Damn. Share some of the loving, gains, dude. Yeah. Loving and hating so deeply. Where does one girl be- begin and the other end? Oh, jeez. I think. Oh, the Rika's, conjoined. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Rika's <laughs> I didn't playing read that the. Part. Yeah. The pretty Rika's one playing the in- intelligent but ugly girl. Oh, oh, well, what? That was gonna say. Work out? <laughs> Well, in the article, that's what that's what it says. Are they gonna like uglyfy her or something? That she's. They have to, uh, I right? I don't know. I think it's mostly gonna be from Reika's perspective, because mm. she's the one that's kind of like fighting to get noticed and everything, right? Because she's not pretty or whatever. I don't know. I heard it's it's pretty good manga. It's the, a lot of the like, one shot humanity stuff. Yeah, those kind of topics. So. There's a few uh, preview pictures out. Oh, yeah, they and, changed the uh, names. It's it's Shura and Maria. Okay, those there are completely different. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Uh, their dresses that they're wearing. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Yep, yep. Uh, oh yeah, that's so we'll, pretty we'll dope. See. Yeah, they're gonna have to ugly fire Rika. <laughs> yeah, she she Tough does competition. not look ugly at all in this. <laughs> too pretty, but I don't know. Maybe it's just like a an interpretation that they're yeah yeah right? mm-hmm. obviously they're not <laughs> going to be like tied together the whole stage play. they should that add another <laughs> element but yeah we'll see what's up a lot of stage plays going around mm-hmm. okay next reika's boyfriend wakatsuki yumi is mm-hmm. cast in a new drama power couple called, of the year yeah kyo kara orewa uh it's gonna air in october and um she will play an original character for the drama because this is an another adaptation of a manga with the same title. It's like a super old manga too, right? Like from the eighties or something. Yeah, from the eighties. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about two two guys. They transfer to a new school, but they want to like refine themselves and be different. So they they decide to become delinquents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite genre. I don't know, man. Stupid. We'll see what happens. It seems pretty silly, but uh, it's got a uh, Hashimoto Kana in it, though. Oh, idol Jesus! Yeah, dude. Praise, <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise <laughs> idol Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah, but she's gonna be a support character in, in this one, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it seems fairly minor. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got a pretty large cast, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she's also a, like they made her character just for this, so I don't know what's up. Hmm. I never read the original. She's gonna be like so, someone's so. friend who's just there to explain things as it's happening. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Um. So yeah, we'll see what's up. Mm-hmm. Maybe start reading the manga. Kyo Kyo Kara Orewa is the title. And so we'll see later on. 
Um, let's go to this one. Fukugawa Mai, oh. a graduate, is also in a drama. Oh, oh every, everyone, just Ooh. give jobs everyone. to everyone. Give jobs to everyone. Here you go. You so, get a drama. You get a drama. Uh, uh, it's a web drama called mm-hmm. Koi wo Otosu. Mm-hmm. And it's about a girl, a girl in the hospital re- reliving her past. Mm-hmm. Um, the first episode is like three minutes long, so I think you guys it's like six can minutes? be able to bear it. It's like six minutes, right? 6.30. Yeah, it's like six. And then like the other half is like, oh, here's a little taste of the next episode, <laughs> which is like pretty much the whole episode, oh, yeah. if it's that short. <laughs> oh, so it, it's like not the whole thing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. episode it's like one. A, it's short, really short episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she is so looking mm-hmm. mighty fine in it, so. So she's all up in the in the hospital. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's sitting in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. Poor my head. Is this like a love story? Who hurt you? Uh, I, I don't know yet from the first episode. Mm. It seems like it's like a telling of like how she got there and like how this guy is involved in it or something. Ooh, okay. It might get interesting when they, they do the big reveal kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, snap. If they're like three episodes long, they could do like 50 of these episodes. Mm. So, yeah. My My. Doing some more work. Check that out. So, uh, got another graduate. Kamura Mahiro. Back I've on st- the social started. media, dude. Hell yeah. Started some of the social medias here. I don't know about this. So, she got a uh, Twitter. At and follow. <laughs> she got Twitter at roti underscore roti two three r o t t y. That explains it. That's how you spell it. That's how you spell it. The so mystery is finally R o t t i. You know, like ah. it's R o t t y, like rotting, like something is rotting. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so that's 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 it, guys. Mm-hmm. Now you know. What's mm-hmm. with the What's with the videos on her Twitter and Instagram? It's like all anamorphic and stuff like that, like. Oh yeah, she's trying to be edgy. Come on, yeah. She's trying to be. She's trying to be cinematic. Come yeah, it's, it's like a these, new venture for her. It's just like a clip of her buying cookies from her friend's place, but it's all widescreen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like all dramatic. Uh, it even has a like color grading on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Like, why is this she's cinematic? Now dude? Learning how to edit video. Maybe, dude. Maybe. But, uh, her her Instagram is just Mahiro underscore Kawamura underscore official. You got to make it official, man. Trying to make it more professional or what? That's so funny. Like when you add official, it's like, oh yeah, that's that's oh, really word. that's that's them. It's them. You know, mm-hmm. Josh Box official, dude. Oh, <laughs> Soul Taco official. It's not the fake Soul um, Taco. Yeah, so she started it a couple of days ago. Um, when her uh, Nogizaka blog closed, like she made the last blog post. To announce that she made those. Oh really? Oh okay. <laughs> smart, <laughs> smart. Gotta funnel, uh-huh. gotta funnel the views, dude. Uh-huh. That's right. So, go mm-hmm. go follow if you're mm-hmm. a fan. Mm-hmm. And the See long list of graduated follow, members to Arigato follow on Twitter. Gozaimasu. So currently, um, most Nogi graduates have Instagram or Twitter, right? Now, yeah. Nagashima Sierra does. Mm-hmm. My 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 has Instagram only. Only Instagram. Okay. The rest have, I think the rest have Twitter for sure. No, my mom has least, an Instagram. Yeah, she has an Instagram. She only has Instagram. Oh, they said she has Twitter only. Twitter. I was like, what? Okay. Who have I been following? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for uh, Ikoma chan to start one. Mm-hmm. Mm. That should be a good one to follow her. Follow like her, her Twitter. Right. Mm-hmm. Click. Stylish little so. nerd, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, show me your Naruto shirts. <laughs> <laughs> That, that whole Kage fashion line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, keep going here. So, Synchronicity, Nogizaka, 46. Mm-hmm. 20th single. Mm-hmm. And sold 1 million copies in the first week. Congratulations. You've made it in the pantheon of... 1 million. Selling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's because Mayan is the center. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Nothing to do with wow. uh, Ecomer's last single, right? Uh, I, nope. I also if, give if, credit if it was her last single, Ecomer. then she would have been the center. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maya and Ecomer's blasphemer. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was 
is the effort of the two of them. Mm, the conjoined effort. I like it. Yes. <laughs> Just like them conjoined twins. <laughs> yep. And so, uh, yeah, the first day they had around like 800 something mm-hmm. thousand, right? Mm-hmm. Which is already pretty high. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, yeah, with this, it, it makes Nogizaka only the fifth Japanese act to, uh, break one million single sales in a week mm. there are only five dude and the second in the 2000s because <laughs> mm-hmm. you know no one buys cds anymore yeah. it's all about that digital dude uh, well, i think how about albums, the handshake now <laughs> like best of albums still uh sell fairly well mm. yeah best of albums from like popular bands and whatnot but mm. as far as singles go i don't think any yeah. other act outside Sakamichi series and that other group <laughs> uh, will sell that much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, because they're not really selling singles, dude. Yeah, they're selling yeah. check tickets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's that you know, formula. Like, nowadays, everything's moving over digitally. Mm-hmm. Um, Gotta keep Spotify up with times. Spotify and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And also the uh, Reiko Choku or whatever, like the ringtone downloads mm, mm-hmm. is, is that which are basically thing? like one one song downloads mm-hmm. like for the oh, okay. popular yeah, yeah, yeah. ones they you know they mm-hmm. it's like yeah 100 billion downloads that kind of mm-hmm. stuff um so congrats mm-hmm. this beats uh the other group's single by 2000 copies Ooh. so the other group sold uh, i think it was like a hundred and 16 no it's a million and 16 116 thousand mm. but the nogizaka sold 100 no 1 million 118 thousand oh man but they in one week but Thanks they didn't have the to sacrifice OG's. anyone to do it though dude oh that's right <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate sacrifice it came with a price <laughs> we beat them but it came oh. at a cost um so i try to turn it think... not into like a uh, an avengers thing dude <laughs> we're not talking about spoilers we already, co- we already covered them <laughs> no more avengers stock um but now, now you can safely say that nogizaka's in their prime right? yeah yeah, yeah mm-hmm. they, they can regularly sell one million copies now all that's left is to consistently do it like the yeah. group has been doing for like seven years mm-hmm. oh god i just need to take over the world too right one million every single That's well I, I think it, it like it's kind of interesting because they're both kind of running into like unprecedented waters right as far as like moving on to like streaming services internationally mm. you know mm-hmm. so i think it's well, at least like i <laughs> yeah yeah that's why i think they're like they're kind of ahead in that space race right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. while they both like well the other group has been selling one million like consistently for longer mm. I think, no marketing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like like uh, Sakamichi series is gonna like start making bigger waves because they're actually mm. trying to do something different rather than the comfortable like this yeah. business model works. Let's just keep it. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we'll see what well, happens. It'll be exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, mm-hmm. right. Uh, moving right along. So Nogi Ego, if you haven't seen it already, mm-hmm. um, the three regulars have graduated you even mm-hmm. have a whole podcast about it mm-hmm. with your favorite nick <laughs> <laughs> you like it more than us yeah uh, tell us how you really feel chat huh like so 19 comments on the nick episode <laughs> three on, on, on our, our other one one's josh <laughs> i don't i didn't expect such backlash from you guys. everyone's just oh make nick a regular we can't all right even if we wanted to <laughs> uh, but anyway at the Sorry. very end of Nogi Ego I, I got emotional they there announced, dude <laughs> they announced new regulars and they are Saito mm-hmm. Yuri mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you tan finally some recognition hell yeah dude also Shinuch Mai which uh, mm-hmm. kind of surprised me Josh, Josh is happy about mm-hmm. the other two for sure mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Higuchi Hina mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All, uh, all good right here Mm-hmm. Um, the new episode will air in June, however. So I assume they haven't recorded uh, the episode. 
Yeah. No, uh... And this this is technically fan conjecture, okay? But, I don't know, dude. I, I saw Nick post uh, a, a mighty fine bento on his Twitter. Oh. <laughs> and he told us, <laughs> Nogiego bentos are the best. So, so maybe. So, oh, they might have recorded Yeah, they may have. Uh, we'll have to okay. see. Okay. Uh, so, last topic here is Nogi Koi is doing a collab with 7 Eleven. Mm hmm. And we got a few clips on mm-hmm. their YouTube. These are pretty interesting combinations they're doing. Like, they're doing some, like, traditional ones that you expect, but then you have, like, Reika with Yamashita. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like, the first two pairs, you you, you saw that coming. Yeah, like, Ozuna with Shiraishi, that's, like, logical. Yeah, and then Yoda, Yuki, and Nanes, Nanes was, like, the offshoot. That's the hard that, push right? that's going yeah. on. Yeah, oh, okay, so this uh, quite high in quality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might have to get back I'm into the game. Just looking at these shots, like, damn. <laughs> All these different scenarios. It's all like based around a cafe, right? Going for like a very classic feel with the music and everything. Yeah, like I, I like the the vibe of this mm-hmm, mm-hmm. whole thing. I agree. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's seven episodes with two members each, a senpai member with a third gen, mm-hmm. and it's, it revolves around cafes and coffee and like stuff like that. Um, cinematic stuff so yeah it, it looks very well shot and cinematic mm-hmm. um i like how everything looks mm. uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks interesting enough to make me want to watch it and not just be like oh hey look at nogizaka's doing this thing but then mm-hmm. i don't watch it <laughs> now is that going to be on the youtube channel or like on the nogi koi app or what is going on I do not know. I'm I'm I want to imagine that like it's gonna be in the app, right? <laughs> you have to like unlock it through the campaign. Yeah, yeah. Like if you want to know what happens, oh, dude, you gotta you gotta spend some. Oh no, not again, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Jimmy, don't go back, don't go back, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Someone's eventually gonna upload it. it. Looks cool. It looks interesting. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks like they're trying to do something new. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Really up to production. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the production uh, off the hook. I'm gonna be really sad if these like these episodes, like the only good part is for this trailer, and then mm, when you yeah. when you play the game, the actual story is just like talking heads, you know? Yeah, yeah, just, just talking like a heads, photo. And just this little scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Someone can make a Jake game with Jimmy now. Yeah, dude. I, 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 gave, I gave you some uh, some nice good uh, assets to use. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's all the topics mm-hmm. for this episode. But of course, we always do the thing every week, which is pretty much like sixty percent of. <laughs> now it is it's, nowadays. It's mm-hmm. the weekly TV show round. Jimmy, insert sound effects. I already did. <laughs> now, boy, has to edit it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna skim through these as fast as I can because I've <laughs> I've been taking too long with these. <laughs> so okay, bingo. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this week is... I watched the two Hiragana okay. shows just okay. to show that I okay. don't hate them. Okay, okay, right. <laughs> bingo. First gen, second gen. Still All right, next topic. On. We got Hiragana Oshi. All right, Hiragana. <laughs> first game, the, the bendy back thing. What do you call that exercise? Or, uh, do we do we have that here? We don't have that here, right? We don't. No, do we don't. Do, yeah. test, I, I mean, I just usually call it like the cobra stretch, if I'm like telling yeah, someone to sense. do it. But like, I don't know. makes sense. Yeah. But anyway, it's three v three, first gen versus second gen, and apparently they're all trained in classical <laughs> ballet for some reason. <laughs> I'm like, how do all these people know ballet? But they anyway, went to the school and just got them all. <laughs> first gen gets an, a, a better average, so they win. Mm-hmm. Second game, monoboke. Mm. Wait, but did you guys see that GIF of the oh, of the, God, the you lewd boys? Of <laughs> what? What GIF? boys? Man. So you know how like they they lay on their stomach, right? Mm-hmm. And then someone uh, sits on their legs. Yeah, it holds. Right? So yeah. it's easier for them. And there's a GIF of like like Mire Mire was doing the like they were measuring how high she can go, but like Katoshi sat on her legs, and she like scoots forward, <laughs> and like rests her crotch on Mire's butt. It's all the lewd boys. Oh, smash it. Yeah, that smash the retweet. Man, you're so lewd. Send it to me later. And I'm like, send it to me later. 
<laughs> the lewd boys. Dear me. Anyway, Dear second me. game, Monoboke. Everyone loves these, but, you know, they're pretty new idols, so... Cute yeah. attempts, but not overly funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. For, mm-hmm. first gen, at least try to go with the pattern maneuver. Repeat mm, that Repeat that one joke, that, you know? That's Kazumin's mm-hmm. thing, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, in the end, it was a tie. Because mm-hmm. when, when second gen went up, Katoshi laughed at everything, but <laughs> when second gen went up, Matsuda was just like... Oh, shit, mm-hmm. sorry. Matsuda was just like stone faced mm-hmm. until like she, she was she was pretty good for like the majority of mm. it. Also, they they uh they had to have like all three of them laugh or something. Mm, so yeah, like, it was all three. It had nothing to do with the milk in the mouth. So it was oh, yeah. less... I think it's funnier with that. I, I think it adds another element where like even the members think it's funny because they have to hold the milk. Yeah. yeah, yeah so uh, the last one was the arm wrestling. Uh, they're like, oh yes, here's some trash talking. Mm-hmm. segments but they're all nice and shit yeah it's like i i heard you like bread well, i, I <laughs> like, like bread, bread more <laughs> yeah <laughs> what but then it's like oh our sandwich man's like everybody likes bread dude what's wrong with yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> anyway it's like a best of three but then the third round just wins the whole thing because mm-hmm. that's just how variety tv works mm-hmm. and of course bemiho defeats mm. memi Mm. She, she got the wrist immediately, mm-hmm. dude. Mimi was like, ah. <laughs> and plus all that basketball experience. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, Second gen wins. You can see it like that was a good fight because, like, normally when idols like arm wrestle, it, it just looks dainty. If you watch like the, <laughs> their arms that are gripping the, the little paddle thing, oh, it's yeah. like, you can see all the muscles like flexing, like, oh, like I'm trying to beat this girl, dude. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. No one doubted Bemiho was gonna. Mm-hmm. Too strong, dude. Bemiho, K-A-Room. let go. Kaerum, I don't watch. I, I don't watch that either, dude. I'm sorry. I watched next it, but I forgot. Uh, see, yeah, forgettable. Uh, next week, they go through a theme park date situation. Mm-hmm. Looks like some of the members are dressed up as dudes. Got the mm-hmm. danso, and of course, it's probably Hiragana's first uh, experience with the danso. Right, is it? Is it? Yeah, I don't, think I've, I don't knows, think I've seen them do that. So right? every everyone remembers when Kanji did it. <clears throat> yeah, 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 that's what like, I remember. Yeah. Mm. And everyone's like, "Oh my god!" Mm-hmm. And so we'll see. What Tetchi happens. with the good taste, dude. <laughs> she went with the bad boy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, so <clears throat> looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. Next show, Hiragana Oshi, continuing mm-hmm. with the second gen profiles. Matsuda. Did a ballet thing while well, she did a Ashida Mana Mono Mane, mm-hmm. uh, which Rentan also does. Uh, it was kind of cool. She was doing ballet and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was so abstract, right? Like, <laughs> what? what is this? Right? What am I watching right now? <laughs> With the music and everything? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that genre mixture. You know? mm-hmm. Next was Kata, and she was like, I really like Sandwich Man. Mm-hmm. And look at all their jokes. I was like, well, shit, they're on KO Bingo with you. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, next was Kosaka, and she did that flash anzan, the mm-hmm. mental adding arithmetic thing, mm-hmm. whatever. So they started off, and she got that right. But then when they sped up, she was like, "I don't know." <laughs> yeah, and they had to flash it twice, right? <laughs> yeah, and then she got like way hard. off. Still, I mean, that was hard. That yeah. was like super fast. The the mm-hmm. second one. Mm-hmm. I remember someone from the other group had to learn how to do that for a challenge. Mm. Someone from Nogi had to do that too. For oh, the yeah. summer, learning the summer was it was it Minami? I think it was Hoshimina, yeah. Yeah, they should they bring back that summer thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, I missed mm-hmm. that segment. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's kind of interesting. I, mm-hmm. I kind of I'm kind of curious to see what like the techniques are. I think I think they do like a uh, they're pretending to use a the abacus. That's what yeah, it's abacus. Yeah. See, I don't know how to use that shit. Yeah. Us Americans don't know how to use it. Yeah. Where is this gift? Well, Jimmy's still looking for that. Um, we'll go to the last uh, profile is Bemiho. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, you know, Bemiho going to do some basketball. Mm-hmm. Oh. And they were all like, man, she's like in her past life, she's probably like some, some mafia, mafioso mm-hmm. and shit. And they're like, what? What? <laughs> Why are you talking about? So, anyway, she, so what's she, your talent? She, basketball. <laughs> gonna do the 1v1 against Kasuga first to mm-hmm. score wins and of course he 
he gets in her head, dude. His mm-hmm, defense mm-hmm. face is so too. scary. She started like crying and stuff. And you My know, poor she, baby, she, dude. She tries anyway and like you know, tries to cross over and like mm-hmm. get past him, do a layup, runs into the court thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was a meltdown. Oh my god, <laughs> he destroyed her, dude. <laughs> and so, like, when it was his turn, she like tries to steal the ball, but trips on his foot, falls yeah, into the He's just like, nah. <laughs> Quick layup. Yeah. One and then he was like, man, Sawabe must really, really be bad. <laughs> right, and they're like, oh, next, I gotta go against Sawabe. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. To be fair, that was a different game. They were doing like the the three pointer mm-hmm. thing with Sawabe. No, but but she also uh, she she passed the Salabe before on another thing, right? Or like uh, when they first displayed True. her talent, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But, she uh, crossed them up, dude. And she was like, "Oh, what are you doing?" Because was like, "Yo, we're for real, right?" Like, <laughs> yeah. Because must have seen what happened. Face, like, no, no, I'm not gonna a... take this. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 that's the strategy. That's how you beat Bemi Hall. Yeah, dude, she's mm-hmm. gotta train. Guy, got gotta, gotta get someone to like step in with a similar body type, wear a Kasuga mask. <laughs> you know, dude. Say it, no, yeah, style. Choke, choke. Ugh. It's okay, dude. We'll, we'll come back stronger. Come back better. Start you know? crying and everything. But you, know, mm-hmm. you learn more from better. from the failures than you do from the victories, dude. It's okay. But indeed, um, and so um, just like the first gens, the second gen wanted to do a thing with mm-hmm. Audrey, and so they just decide to do the jump rope thing. Try to get to forty six because you mm-hmm. know. Zack and 46. Mm, of course. Mm-hmm. And Kazuga yeah, was like stepping up like, yeah, I'm going to be right here. Yeah, like Bemi was like, oh, I'll go like, up oh, here, dude. Don't. And he's like, yeah. okay, then I'll go. And they're like, no. No, you <laughs> nasty. You two be in the middle. Uh, they get to 45 mm-hmm. before the the rope catches on Kasuga. Yeah. <laughs> of course like, it was him. How is this even a thing? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> Just one more. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway. That was it. Ugh, excuse me. <clears throat> that was the episode. Uh, mm-hmm. Next week, they do the bag checks. Oh, oh no. That's tradition. Oh, fun. The best, dude. Yep. Let me see what they keep. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's move on to kanji. Keaki, keaki te kakenai. Continuing from last week. Their mm-hmm. planned proposals of things. Um, Ozek wanted to do this little like camp thing where everyone does shit for themselves, you know, like cook. Mm-hmm. Uh, they explored different things. So she's like, "Oh yeah, Neru will catch some fish, and then uh, Suzumon will cook stuff because she's good at it." And they're like, "Oh yeah, it's it's pretty cool, man. It seems like an interesting idea." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd I'd watch it. I know other groups have done similar things. Yeah, yeah Nogizaka's yeah. done it. On like Nogi Ten, I think. Nogizaka's done it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'd, I'd watch ten. it. Yeah. 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 You see that? So that you know, it's not all staff sad, dude. Mm. Mm-hmm. Don't need no staff sad uh, where I'm going. I, I still want Kazumin's idea where they try to survive on an island by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> the full survival game, dude. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You just get a machete, dude. That's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just make make yeah. make the members the cameraman, and yeah, they like, have to survive themselves. Yeah, you gotta set up your own shots, Survivor Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, next was uh, Shiori. Shiori wanted to do some illustration battles. He's like, yo, let's let's draw some things, man. Oh, I don't draw. Some, some, is the best. Some some members are good at drawing, uh, like like Kobayashi and Koike. When you look at their greeting cards, which they used to do on their uh, official site. But some are terrible. You know, look at Fuyuka and Risa's stuff. Awful. And so, like, they all draw. They all draw a lion. And Tsuchi also draws. And his lion was cute, man. I was like, oh, man, look at this lion. And then they all show their thing. And Risa's is terrible, of course. And some of them are pretty good. Hmm. Which one, did, if you saw it? You saw it? Oh, Jim! I Jimmy didn't watch. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. Josh did. Josh? I didn't. I didn't. It was it was next to my queue, but then K Bingo came up, so I had to watch that one instead. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm looking forward to. Was I was like watching, watching idols draw, dude. And then Imaizumi's plan like immediately got the approval. (laughs) They were like, "Yo, let's do it." (laughs) It's the white white face Imaizumi. 
And so her, her thing was like, I just want to see the other members' reactions. Because she usually just wears a mask, right? So mm-hmm. she'll only do the, the white face, like where the mask covers her face. Mm-hmm. And so she would like come to work or whatever and just take it off to see <laughs> just see other members' reactions. It's kind of like the, the Hori one, right? Yeah, yeah. The, Remember mm-hmm. that Hori episode? Where she where, like, zombie makeup? Yeah, it was mm-hmm. like the zombie makeup. It was like, yeah, what's wrong? <laughs> She's like looking down yeah, and yeah, just yeah. covering her face. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh. it's similar to that. Mm-hmm. And Tsuchi was like, yo, there's no point if you're telling us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Now."> <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> and she was like, okay, yeah, we'll do it later on. So, like, when everyone forgets. That's when we'll do it. <laughs> like, oh, this is cool, man. This seems interesting. Let's do it. So, maybe, maybe they will in the future. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Um, next week's episode, they do a cook-off, mm. which is pretty much what Ozek was kind of uh, proposing, except mm. without the camping and yeah. <laughs> catching fish. So they're cooking yeah. against each other, or yeah, it's like Suzumon. Mm-hmm. With with Oda Nana as her assistant, oh, and like nice, Nagasawa nice. Kun mm-hmm. and and Pe, oh. and there was another pair. I think it was like Nijika and Fuyuka or something. Mm-hmm. We will see. Which I'd be I'd be interested to see if like Pe is like surprisingly useful in the kitchen. <laughs> so, right. Somehow I, I think her character like kind of goes the opposite way. Nagasawa Kun's like Pe, cut up these onions, dice these onions. And she's like. She's like yeah, <laughs> I, I, I need something, man. Give me something. All yeah. right? <laughs> Give me something you're good at besides looks, man. Yeah, come on. come on. There's gotta be something there. Mm. Uh, so, uh, for Nogichu, we got the Ikoma Chan Sotsugyo Omedeto special, which is basically a bunch of letters and sadness. Mm-hmm. So we got a letter from Wakatsuki Yumi, mm-hmm. letter from Sayuri in a way. Mm-hmm. A tearful letter from Master Yoda. Got a letter from Mionars. Got a letter mm-hmm. from Kaz. And they all pretty much, he's like, oh yeah, I remember when we used to do this. Or mm-hmm. like, this is how we got along. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll mm-hmm. miss Let's keep on being so. friends. Yeah, As we yeah, stuff go like that. on. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and then after that, Ikoma Chan gave a message to the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Thanks, bitches, but I'm out. <laughs> yeah, dude. Kit, dude. Have a fun summer. Mm-hmm. And then uh, she did a three-person talk with Banana Man. Mm-hmm. As it's tradition. Like mm-hmm. Exploring, you know, her future kind of thing. Like, oh, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll do this. I'm going to try mm-hmm. to do this. I, I like that they've been doing that with, like, the graduation member, like, graduating members, right? Just having some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Nissan yeah, yeah, you know. time with uh, mm-hmm. Banana yeah, Man. Yeah, like, revisiting her... Uh, center positions and how like she was really glad she was at the center of girls rule mm-hmm. and like her her comeback center position after mm-hmm. being concurrent with the other group mm-hmm. right stuff like that and then mm-hmm. they did a synchronicity performance and then next week is the behind the scenes of her graduation concert mm. which will be pretty interesting mm-hmm yeah, looking seeing all the backstage stuff, especially yeah, how they interact with her and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Maybe it'll show like all the people who came. Oh yeah, uh-huh. yeah. We talked Hopefully. about that last time. <sighs> Please show not at me, not at me. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> she's, she's, she's the cameraman. Like she's turns on. It's like it's like a shot of like Mai Mai and like Rarin mm-hmm. and like all the other graduates or mm-hmm. whoever was there, and like pants to to and she's like, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 come on, just give us something. <laughs> I think my boss cameraman, she's like, oh, come on, we just get one shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's all it's dangling like, oh, from the ceiling. Just, come on, yeah. give me that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we got some more shows. Mm-hmm. That was, that was, those were the regular four. And now we got a few more. Mm-hmm. Nogi Ego. Mm. As you know, we talked about it with Nick. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, there's the, uh, it's the regular member graduation ceremony. Mm-hmm. No joke. As we go on, and Kawago. we remember mm-hmm. all the times we had together. Mm. Keep in touch. Yeah, they had the guests. Have a nice summer. <laughs> guests were Nakarakana, Hori, Mioner, and Sakurai Reika. 
Mm-hmm. So they were, you know, looking back at memorable things from the past, mm-hmm. funny stuff, um, and like how little they've how, learned. Yeah, how, <laughs> yeah. How, how little they've learned. Mm-hmm. So I yeah, because because they they were looking back at like a Christmas special from like four years ago, and then we saw the the girl from the other group blurred out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, well, you got blurred yeah. out, man. <laughs> Everyone knows who that is. Come on. Come on. And it was like three years ago. And then, and then like they had to answer some like translation question. And they asked them in real time, like, what is the answer? And they said the exact same response they did three years ago. So, so they haven't <laughs> learned anything. That was pretty funny. Uh, and so they did one last game, the Ego game battle, which is kind of redoing some games that mm-hmm. were done in the past. Uh, what was the first one? Uh, was was it more than one? They did two. The second one was uh, the 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 word one. With oh, then the, then the first one was the where they had to like give directions in English, and the members had to do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That, that was pretty good. Yeah, uh, Nojo was like, what was it like? Like beam? <laughs> do, do, do the do the idle beam? Oh, like wink, wink. Right? Cause oh, yeah, yeah. Should, like one was like you you make a dog a sound that a dog makes mm-hmm. and you make a sound that a sound that a pig makes mm-hmm. and she had to do like it uh, a roundabout way of how to say oink yeah yeah it's like weak weak but but a pig mm. <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, like oink. <laughs> yeah yeah and then the, the second one was with they did the game with nick mm-hmm. and like they had, they had a, a word and they had to give hints Mm-hmm. and stuff like that mm-hmm. and uh, that was pretty funny because um, I think one of them was taxi and then Nick is like okay it's yellow yeah <laughs> and then I think Miona was like oh hey it's it's a uh, what did she say she said like, like like a two worded answer oh yeah can uh, something yeah it's oh, no, it's hey car that's hey, what it was <laughs> <laughs> this, the, the regular team was funny because the, the word was like travel or something. Mm. Mm-hmm. But she guesses trip. And oh, then yeah. Nick was like, yeah, just give it to him. Yeah. And they're like, yo, you gave away the answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you enjoy this. Guy. It's like Nick, Nick wasn't supposed like his his character mm. doesn't, isn't supposed to know any Japanese, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he says it in Japanese. Like, yeah. in Japanese. <laughs> and they're like, what the heck? Yeah. Nick. <laughs> And then uh, towards the end, they like the regulars read a letter to Yes Coach Sensei. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm glad I've met you. Like I, I'm into English now. Right? But Maya's mm-hmm. letter was so funny. Yeah, <laughs> it was like a little kid like writing a letter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like 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 every other word was like crossed out and corrected. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, like corrected her letter. Yeah. Like, the spelling. And then, like when we got to the last two sentences, like pretty much every every word was like crossed out. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, and then they, and give, like, they give like they flowers at the end. Oh yeah, they, oh. we like no just later. Like Sensei was like, "Oh, thanks so much." Mm-hmm. And he like all this English at like hundred yeah. miles an hour. Like, oh, okay, I'm so glad you you've improved so much. Yeah, you know. Uh-huh. You're, your speech and your intonation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, just like, like, uh, yeah, what the like, hell is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny yeah and then they got flowers mm-hmm. I like how Nick, Nick gave Maya the flowers yeah Nick gave Maya like, the flowers I was like yes uh, Ms. Wana thank uh-huh. you man I'm, yeah. I'm so mad how they revealed the new members oh I thought <laughs> like, the most anticlimactic thing dude like, mm-hmm. just, they should have yeah they should have kept it a secret but. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's just like oh we'll be coming back with three new members it's like, oh! and it's like boink, it's, it's, boink. here we go Ms. one Higuchi two three Hina. Miss Shinuchi Mai, <laughs> Miss Saito Yuri, like oh, you dumb. Yeah, I should have kept it a secret until until the episode actually airs. Yeah, yeah or or mm-hmm. maybe before kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, like reveal them slowly, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that would, that would have been the better. But like, if we're guessing that the bento Nick had was a no Diego bento, <laughs> then, uh-huh. and it, they've already like filmed it, it might be too long. Hmm. Because it's more than a month. Until the yeah. next episode airs. It's so. almost two months, huh? Yeah, it might have been too long. If you look at Nogi Ego's Twitter, uh, you can see them in the studio, like in the in the set. Mm. So they've already... Mm. Probably. Looking at all the clues. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So the last show is a bit of a special one because it was mm -hmm. Shabby Kuri 7. Man, no is so popular now, dude. They made it, Shabikuri dude. Shabby Kuri 7. Mm -hmm. Even the other group didn't really appear on Shabby Kuri 7. Mm. Um, and it's like a them episode, practically, right? Yeah, or at least like one member from the other group, not like mm -hmm. a, a group of girls, mm -hmm. like no exact. So, you know, the, there were six of them Shirai Shimai, Nishinanase, mm -hmm. Asuka, Ikita. I still have to watch this. I haven't watched this one. Matt, Mura Sayuri, and Josh's favorite, Manatsu. Shirai Shimai. Oh, what? So, Shabi Kuri 7 is a talk show hosted by seven I comedians. Like Manatsu. <laughs> Jimmy, did you play the sound effect? <laughs> what? <That was> <laughs> <laughs> There's seven comedians uh, in, in three groups. So two of them, two are manzai duos, and one is a manzai trio, right? And so, like the 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 thing that the thing like the point they were talking about is like, oh yeah, the, they each of the members like they do they have this little thing that you can remember them for or whatever, even like mm. old dudes can remember them for this so mm. like ikuta was first and her thing was like yeah i could do the finland uh give me that polka finland thing. polka dude oh she didn't do her yelling nah she did the polka no it was, she did the, it polka? was the polka mm. yeah, it's, it's all everywhere on twitter and mm. she, she mm. does it in like this little like jaunt and the shabby kuri dude's like, man i could do that <laughs> step aside and then they fuck thing. up dude <laughs> yeah yeah they make themselves look stupid that's usually the pattern with mm. Shabby Kuri 7. You can mm. see it coming, but it's still pretty funny. And then Mayan's thing was the hy Hyokori Han. Mm. Uh, like, I could do the Hyokori Han. Mm. Like, so they're cute. Like, oh, dude. word. By the way, he is here. Like, oh, shoot. That's cool. And then, so they'd redo the same thing they did on 46 Hour TV. Mm -hmm. You know, with her, like, her thing in the cat box and through the newspaper. And it's mm -hmm. like, Chosets! Kawaii, man. <laughs> she even—it wasn't just kawaii. It was Chozet's kawaii. She, oh my god, dude! I, I think it was like her smug faces she would make in between, like stuff. But like, I was like, oh mm, my god! Like at the end when she was folding the newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, she's just like, like, mm. like <laughs> she did like this. Lip, lip. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, yeah. mm, Mayan, please. Uh, <laughs> took enough from from my tune. <laughs> mm. so, it's funny because when she did the cat thing. The studio like started screaming because it's mostly like women. In yeah, the studio. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the audience. Uh, next was uh, Manatsu, and her thing was like, "Oh yeah, I, I cosplay a And they're like, "What really? How, how like how do girls usually dress in, at their at your handshake events?" And then they're like, "Yeah, we can just wear whatever we want." So Manatsu decides to do some cosplay. And so she goes to change, comes out in a cat costume, and everyone has like the kuroishi face, like this bitch. <laughs> and like <laughs> they they do like the little mon mock handshake line, or like he, she won't go through. And then Manatsu is last. And of course, like the three dudes who I think are the funniest guys in Shabikuri Seven, like do the dumb <laughs> reactions, right? <laughs> like, cause first they you know like before they get to Manatsu, they're all serious, mm. all like oh. Yoroshiku and you guys want to like, oh, thank you, thank you. Mm. And then she she does her thing, and like they get fished or whatever. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. <laughs> so they just basically act like Josh, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they act like. <laughs> but the funniest though was Weda, the, the host, right? <laughs> she like blows a, she like blows a kiss, and he's like, ski, <laughs> <laughs> just like screams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, like the hilarious. shot's so good because he's like in profile, right? Like, yeah, yeah. <gasps> and it's a ski to the side. So good. <laughs> like that show is like the funniest because Ueda would just Tsukomi everyone, mm. right? and there's like six bokes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a lot of material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the guests get into it and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good. That was probably like the funniest part of the episode. Even though it's it's a very, like, regular thing that they would do, mm -hmm. it's like kind of predictable that they would do, but it's pretty funny. Mm. And then uh, Nishino and Asuka's thing, they kind of like lump them together. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I'm um, pretty good at getting by unnoticed, like in public places. They're like, what? You have no aura or something? <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I got that stealth roll, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and so they, 
They're like, oh, let's let's simulate how you would do it in a busy intersection with the Shabikuri guys crossing from the other way. Mm-hmm. And so Nanase starts walking and then they start walking. They're like, wait, wait, hey, whoa, hey, it's you. Can we take a picture? It's like, no, what? This isn't how it's supposed to go. But then Ash just like slips by behind them. They're like, oh, look, she got through. They're like, oh, damn, dude, we didn't even notice. And I was like, okay, let's let's do it for real this time. Mm-hmm. So I like, they all cross and then everyone gets through. But the Shabikuri guys are like, oh, it's Manatsu. <laughs> Wait, oh, it's you. You're the cat girl. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, yeah that was their thing I was like okay uh, and then the last the last girl was Sairingo mm-hmm. eating like, that oh, rice she dude rice a lot mm. how is she not fat dude rice is fattening I don't know give me your powers <laughs> and then um, so like yeah she can I can drink water really fast like a 500 milliliter bottle in like 3 seconds like, what <laughs> So let, let's race. Race one of the Shabikuri guys. So Fukuda is like, yeah, dude, I chug beer and shit. Let's go. And so they race. And Tyringo wins, but it takes her like 12 seconds. Like, what? You said three seconds? <laughs> just off my game today, dude. <coughs> yeah, like, she was like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of nervous. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty much the episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, Watch the Maya, Mayan and Manatsu's part are the best. Mm. If you ne- if you need to watch that, sure, mm-hmm. go watch it for those parts. Cause they were the best. Yeah, do it do it for the Mayan lip bite. If anything else, dude. At the mm. very for that cat. Yeah, yeah. When she's when she's folding the newspaper. <laughs> mm. She like she like mm. raises her eyebrows too. It's like mm. yeah. <laughs> 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 You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> get a get uh, a shoulder pump think about my end, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, she's too strong. No one can contest her anymore now that Eco Marina's gone for me. Mm. No, <laughs> no one can contest my end. Mm. No anyway, that's pretty much the roundup. Oh, I also watched the first episode of Yareta Kamo Inkai, uh, Mayan's new drama. Mm. It's kind of interesting. I don't, it's it seems like it's gonna be a case by case episode. Mm. And so, the first episode that I watched, this dude goes to the committee. So the committee is Mayan and and these two guys, right? And he mm. tells his story of how he, oh, he almost got laid. It's like, oh, when I was young, I was working part-time at this fast food joint or whatever. And then one day, uh, my coworkers and I, um, we go to one of his coworkers' places, and it's the girl that he likes or something. Mm-hmm. Or like it's a, it's a hot girl or whatever from his work. And so they buy groceries, and then they go to her place, and they chill. And then like she puts on a movie or whatever. And then she's like, oh... Uh, I want more stuff. Let's get more stuff. Uh, like I specifically specifically want this one thing, and so the two of two, like there are only four of them, so two leave. So it's just the guy and the girl, mm-hmm. and then it's like ah, oh, they're taking long. I'm kind of getting sleepy. So she lays in her bed, and it's like the the shot of Mayan laying on the table, mm-hmm. um, and then like in the movie's playing, and this it's like a sex scene in the movie. And he's like, oh, shit. So he turns it down, but she's, like, sleeping. And he's like, uh, should I, uh, you know, it's like, should I have made my move? That's what he was asking, like, the uh, the committee. It's like, so they investigate <laughs> what happens that day. And then they, like, explore what happens. It's like, oh, how far away was the convenience store? Would you have enough time? Would you have had enough time mm. to, like, fuck her real quick or whatever? <laughs> and then, like, and they're like, oh, maybe she was not asleep and it's like maybe she put on that movie on purpose or like maybe she was awake she was waiting for you to make a move or whatever damn son <laughs> and so like they're like drawing on the whiteboard of the map of the neighborhood it's like oh mm-hmm. look at the, na- the, the convenience store is right here and then the, their stuff is right here it would have taken this long to, t- to walk and stuff like that. <laughs> um, it's like if you like those kind of investigative like mm. things that like explore 
that kind of like, oh, what happened that day kind of shit. Mm-hmm. It seems like that's what the show is based around. Mm. Or the manga or whatever. Is it kind of like parodying it with, with this whole different edge to it? Or is it like take itself seriously? It's kind of serious. Not really? Yeah, it was oh, like okay. It's, it felt like a, like a comedy the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't like all stupid like I was expecting. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe in later episodes, but I don't know. The, the, like the the guy who goes, he's like much older. Is the, what happened when he was younger? Mm. And then yeah, they ask him all these questions, and he's like, "Oh, can you remember what happened here?" Blah, blah, blah. And then in the end, they make the judgment. It's like, ah, yareta. It's like ah, you could have had it, dude. Oh. <laughs> <You fucked up>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But on the on the on the first episode Mayan's character is like ah, I can't say if you had or not it's like uh, mm. maybe <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is like oh I've been having troubles with this that's why he goes to the committee it's mm. like I need resolve like to resolve mm. this in my mind and they, they help him with it or something it's kind of <laughs> weird but mm. it's like one of those weird uh, like surreal yeah kind of Japanese dramas right mm. Mm. Or it's like, this wouldn't happen in real life. But, I mean, if it did, this is how it'd go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, the next episode is completely a different person mm-hmm. telling the story. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It might be, like... Yeah, episodic. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, we'll see. <laughs> like, the committee, they're all stoic and stuff. Like, Mayan would walk up to the guy and it's like, so what happened here? <laughs> like, <laughs> her face is just like, mm, all serious. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for you to get three episodes in and you can tell me how it is. Oh, for sure. I think I need <laughs> subs, man. There's, like, too much. Mm. Like, I can, I can get the general, like, idea of it, but there's, like, little details that mm-hmm. would make it more enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Otherwise, you're going to be, like, sitting with Google Translate and then, like, the episode's going to take you, like, yeah. like two hours long. You know, it's, like, a half yeah, an hour. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a 30-minute episode, so... Mm-hmm. That's it. All right. That's the roundup. That's the roundup. And that does it for this episode. Um, go ahead and check out the episode we did with Nick. Not the old one. There's a new one that just came out. Hey, so you right. go ahead and watch that to learn more about what he thinks about the Nogizaka girls leaving Nogi Ego. Um, they all already hopefully... watched it, Josh. They're not going to watch this. Well, just in case the, the audio listeners haven't watched it, they can go ahead and watch that. Um, maybe we could get him on again when the second episode, when the ne- June, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe when that comes Diego? out. Maybe yeah, yeah. We, we had to talk to him about scheduling and everything. Um, oh, like having him since back. it's apparently uh, our, our viewers prefer him and comment more on his video than on ours. <laughs> <laughs> what What did I do wrong? At least talk about Infinity War in the comments this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Who's so your that is it all. <laughs> You can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You can go ahead and listen to us on Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play, as well as all the other places. You can follow us individually. As you, If you're looking at the video, you can see all of our Twitter handles down below. And that does it all for this episode. Uh, I want to thank all of you guys for watching and all of the hosts for joining. You're welcome. So until next week, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>